It's McKenchy Critiques. It is McKenchy Critiques. Let's get something straight here. Yeah. It's called McKenchy Critiques. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Makenshi critiques to Makenshi Dick Rides your favorite anime. Welcome back to another weekly live reaction of Golden Kamoi. This is for season four, episode three. I think it's episode thirty-nine or forty in the grand scheme. I don't know, but just season four, episode three. Fuck it. Last week was a great little end of a contained lock <clears throat> that I was told was actually taken out of season three's content, and people thought that they would be doing OVA based on it, but they decided to put it into season four. Which is good to see stuff not left out, you know what I mean? When when you hear criticism. I feel like they maybe listen to criticism and then when they come back around to Golden Kamoi, they go, okay, let's try and fit it in here if it can fit in here without fucking with the chronology, right? Let's not fuck around. Let's, I just want to get back to Silpa, Sugimoto, Shireishi, the squad, man, let's go. Golden Kamoi Season 4, Episode 3. Come on. Nobo de Betsu Hell Valley. Hot Springs. Oh god, hot springs. <laughs> Always have to have a hot spring detour. Shiraishi antics. Oh my god, he's put on his dick. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, that's one way to do it. Who's this? Kikuta. Dude, look how chiseled his face is, man. Dude, his face is chiseled, fam. <laughs> Dude, he's up in the comedy here, man. Love it. That's how you do comedy. It's, make it spontaneous and random. Don't do a bit. Don't do this is the comedy bit. Just have it coming in and out, in and out, whenever. We don't overdo it. I think he's got the struck, struck the right balance of not making his gags and comedies cringy and overextended like Sorachi. Once, once Sarachi told a joke, he kept beating over the head with it. Hey, hey, we told that joke, guys. And he just kept going and going. It became fucking cringy. My new friend. Ding da. This is how it's that Ding da. This is an... OP. And then die. Oh, did this part looks like a JoJo intro? This part, that little bit looks like a JoJo intro. The Smell of Sulphur, episode 39. Whoa. <laughs> Bruh, how'd he go? 
Dude, how much manliness are they going to introduce in this show? It's too much. I'm envious, fam. He's got his wings, fam. Chiseled. Curious. Definitely got tattoos. Kikanda. Dude, that chiseled face. Jimpo Sensei's got fucking competition. Oh, he's Ainu. I would recognize Ainu pattern. That manly massage, love it. This guy's too much. <laughs> what? How can he just re describe it like that? <laughs> this is a very homoerotic, manly episode. Oh my god. There was a <laughs> different his eyes closed. Dude. Conspiring. Need to hurry. Did you, oh, dude, they got mans on the inside. I guess over all these years, he's built up a lot of relationships in these different these lodges or wherever these guys are chilling. I think that's why they give the historical context of of the springs. Got to do hot springs. Thank you, you. I would love to go hot spring, a natural hot spring. Healing properties, man. Huh? See, this is what I was saying. You got different factions that inter intersecting and going up against each other. <laughs> Oh shit. Tattoo, tattoo, tattoo. Oh shit, it's the guy. Whoa. Man, it's a man using sh Kakashi Sharingan, man. Okay. Looks like it.
trying to bump these guys off. They had one eye, I guess, bandaged. Sorry, not bandaged. I patched so that they did charge below the decks of a ship. Adjust to the dark. Yeah, dude, that's smart. Like battle head for eye patch. That is awesome. The eye acclimatizes to the darkness already. Damn. I, d I did want to see who, who it was that had the tattoos though. They need to get these fuckers off the trail first. This is awesome. I mean, they, they just literally just reunited a set by Sugimoto and we're cutting two different characters. This is good, I think. It's healthy for the show. Oh, what? Dude. Shithead, I want these fair and square. <laughs> you have to pick up a set of stealing handguns. Like a damsel of fucking handguns, man. Oh my days. <laughs> but that's too much of a bad. <laughs> oh my days. Fuck. Love it. The clanging of the sandals. So if 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 we're hearing the clanging, this is the guy with the tattoos. Couldn't be he wouldn't be walking out naked in the fucking up here like that. Sorry, maybe it's just his sandals. Not not the sandals of the guy with the tattoo. Guess you figured it out. But so it is him. But, but I thought they were working for Hijikata. So if he's got tattoos, why would he be working for Hijikata? This is the the same dude, right, with the scar on his forehead. I feel like this is a great uh great episode or arc but with the odd positioning it's a little odd odd positioning radio freezing awkward hyojun nice bamboo shoots like they walked into a JRPG dungeon. You will see JRPG dungeons like this. <laughs> Good ears. Hmm? 
a midget. <laughs> if I had a midget, what was that? What was that when he was a kid? Senor Tet. Maybe his, his upbringing, they told him how to avoid these things. That little frame was for his childhood. You know what I mean? The pace is like really, really frantic. Are you seeing this? Blind. The guy who was massaging him was, uh, looked like he was fucking fully blind. What's going on? I saw. He'd never seen us to begin with. Echolocation, they should bats. <laughs> Love it. That's a good way of reducing exposition, just cut into a bunch of bats. Like, the pacing of this is too, too quick. Like, they established some sort of local urban legend, and then we're already, it's, it's, it's really, really frantic, the pacing for this. The final details of what the hell is going on is complete. Like, they were talking about Hijikata, they were pointing back to Hijikata. This guy don't have, has tattoos, right? That's what they're implying. No position. One dude is giving us so much fucking trouble. Love it. Lost march of my... See, if we like... Like, they're cutting back and forth to, like, different things. On what is 5th Infantry Regiment? On the written page, it probably is fine. You can digest it quickly, but in anime form... It's like constantly dumping flashbacks to to childhoods and all his things. Waist deep freezing water. Ricky Matsu on this mountain is impossible. Good thing you got someone that at least can draw on his eye new tactics, fam. They live in inhospitable environments like this. You can deafen this guy like that, at least temporarily. Throw off his fucking sense of um. Oh shit! That's a good gun he's got there. What's that? That reminds me of Red Nine, Leon Kennedy's Red Nine. One of them German guns. Avalanche. I hear avalanche. Avalanche, baby. A oh, poor guy. Fuck it, that's it. Four days later, do we? It's. Gotta find the body, right? To the mirror. To the bit. Oh shit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Why is he excited? Oh, I see. Oh shit. Medial line. Okay. Okay, that looks like the gun that he was holding, the red knight. Wait, oh, it's scarf. I thought he had wrapped out. Dude, the front pacing was so frantic. I didn't realize that that masseuse guy was the prisoner. Seems to be working with people reporting back to Hijikata. Karafuto Aino tradition. It's called Grandma Chew Dumplings. Ah. Uh, okay. Finally, man. We're all back with the gang. Shikishima Tanigaki. <laughs> Pidika, Pidika. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone loses their mind a little in water. <laughs> Watch on that. Spoiled rich kid. They were fighting. He's not going to let this go. Interesting. Yeah. The the positioning was weird for that episode. Is it, is it just me? It was the pacing was really it was another episodic. It was another episodic. It went by so fast. Like they spent a frame on that I knew guys this guy's childhood. Like a frame. I was like, whoa, is that him when he's a baby? Is that midget? Like they, the the first season went into great detail describing when they ever they introduced a new word or new thing they would always explain it take the time to explain it that's what it is this tradition this doesn't this doesn't seem interested in educating anymore he mentioned something called if I had a sent sent with me or something some I new thing I would be able to walk through this place with these icicles sticking out of the ground I was like dude it was a frame. And then it cut back to during the 1457 what thing war it's like 30 seconds of that and they cut back again it's like really a rag really bipolar and I'm, and that's the that's the thing about season two i hated the frantic fucking pacing they don't take their time it feels like they just want to hurry it along apart from that though it's in entertaining when you can when it's cohesive you know what i mean they introduced oh, f at least two new spoiled rich. Okay, nice. They introduced at least two new 
really f interesting what could have been re even more interesting characters but it's like we're just constantly jumping 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 Even at, even on, on its worst day, Golden Combo is fucking entertaining. So it has that for it. I don't know. Like, like I mean, like the person said, there was an episode that was meant to be in season three that wasn't. Now it's been put in the beginning of season four. So maybe that's the reason that the, 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 the pacing or the positioning of those seems off. I don't know. I think I think that's the problem because they're always frantically they're overworked, right? The Japanese animators are overworked. They're frankly just trying to finish an episode. The mandate, right? Finish the episode. Let's finish the episode. Finish the and animate it, get it done, get it done, get it done. No one sits back, watches the whole show and thinks, okay, does it feel cohesive? Does the pacing feel good? It it's not like the West. It feels like there's a fact like they've got these animators churning shit out of factory to factory and no one was able to do any quality checks because by the time you finish a show they need to fucking shit it out and no one's actually stepped back and go okay how does this season feel does it feel good it doesn't feel like it doesn't now bleach on the other hand fast paced but you know because they did it in 12 episode cause that they're trying to someone step back and go look this is quality assurance like this is what we're trying to achieve it's consistent with this fast pacing in this one, sometimes the pacing is like amazing. You just like the Chimpo Sensei episode. Just focus on one or two, three people. Take its time. Simple, you know. And and it spread over two episodes. This felt like a two episode arc shoved into one episode. A two episode something that could have really been two episodes shoved into one episode. Maybe on the written page, it's easier to digest. Where you can look back, you can read the panels, look at the panels, look at the the trivia factoids. In this, you don't have that luxury. But yeah, another great episode, but still, it's got, I've got problems. Hope it doesn't continue that. As, as long as we get back to Sugimo or Silpa, and then that is the core focus, I'm fine with it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.